Well, hello, friends. Today, we are going to continue working on that 4chan client that I started the other day. Um, because it is a very interesting test case for, you know, the whole stack here. Networking, GUI, um, kernel, everything. So, the um, only things that I've changed since last time is that I made a little icon. Uh, and uh, I added a subject column here. And I did some work on um, the HTTP classes so that stuff would load faster. But other than that, nothing has changed. So today I figured I would add a, uh, a way to s select a different board. And uh, give you the ability to switch which board you're seeing. So um, let me finish chewing on my lozenge. Okay, there we go. Now let's go and look up that API again. Mm, so this is all the boards. Let's see what that looks like. Mm -hmm. Right. So it's just a um, troll flags. Hmm. Um, so the boards are an array and we want, really, we just want the board and the title. The rest is like less interesting, I think. So let's, let's load those and put them in a list and, uh, we'll just, uh, work our way forward, um, as we go. So I guess we should make a model for this. So let's see if we can make a, um, for, for quickness' sake here, let's try to reuse some existing stuff. So let's copy the thread catalog model. We'll call it um, board list model. Refresh, and we'll just add it here, board list model. Okay, board list model. And, oh, we're not gonna do that, but we're gonna do this board list model. Blop, 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 blop. Boards. Um, and we only care about the board name or the board and the um, name, I guess. What was it called? Title. Well, not namespace, title. Um, what do they call it? Board and title. Yeah, so we'll go with those. Board and title, I think that's fine. Uh-huh. Okay, board list model. And then we'll do this same here, board list model. Okay, so. And for this one, we're going to load, what was it, boards.json? Okay. And we'll say board list download finished. Uh -huh. And for these, we don't need to do any uh, rejigging, I think, because it's all in one big array, which is exactly what we like. So we're just going to copy out this boards right here. Um, or actually, maybe we can just leave it alone and keep it the way that it is. So, or uh, no, no, let's copy it out, and that'll be slightly nicer. So, we'll say m boards is um, JSON as array, but the first one was not an array; it was an object. As object get boards auto new boards if new boards is array and boards is new boards. Cool. 
And I think that's the whole thing that we need. And boards. Why don't you love me? Um, I guess we have to do that. Okay. And then we'll just update this model so that it fits the um, different JSON data. Um, title. Uh, in fact, I think maybe we should make this guy be single. Um, yeah, we'll only do one. Or I'm not sure yet, actually. So hold on. <laughs> um, but this, I think we can ignore this, actually. Because I'm going to put this in a combo box. So let's see how that turns out. Boards. OK, so then when you get the data for a column, then we'll say if it's the board one, then we'll get um, board dot board to string. And if it's the title, then we get the title to string. And then for the rest, we just don't do anything. Um, OK, so I think we're good here. Unused param column. Yeah, maybe unused. Um, okay. Chan viewer. Now let's make a combo box. I haven't been using combo boxes much since I made them, so this will be a nice opportunity to use one. Um, now uh, how do we do this? I guess we can just put one above the catalog view at the moment. So um, board combo, new G combo box. Um, board combo set model. Board list model create. Okay. Wouldn't it be fascinating if this just totally worked? Well, I have a limited faith in this one. But we'll see. Um, we'll see. So, how's everybody doing, by the way? I hope you're having a good week. It is warm here, like unbearably warm, <laughs> but that doesn't change anything. We have to keep going anyway. Okay, well, that got a little big and chunky, but we do have a list of the boards here, I would say. It looks goofy, but but I, I like it. Okay, okay. Um, let's make it a little smaller. <laughs> So we should do something like a board combo um, set size policy, and we'll set the size policy to horizontal fill, but size policy fixed for vertical, uh, and then set preferred size, um, I don't know, 20 vertical. I think that would probably look a lot nicer. And then in the board list model, we can also um, I'm thinking we could change the data somehow so that the things show up a little better um, for the display then um, we would do something slightly nicer here so we'll say like um, oh wait hold on how does G combo box even work When we paint one of these, then what does it do? Resize event. Wait a minute. Oh, right. He's composed of other widgets. So he has a list view. Um, uh, 
let's see. Oh, wait, hold on. Somebody's messaging me again. Um, let's see. What is the thing that I wanted to do here? <laughs> I totally forgot. Um, right, I wanted to look at the column. So what column is it using? Paint event. When we paint a list view, then we do model theta of this index, model column. So where does the model column come from? It's always just zero. Well, we should have a way to change that. So let's see, int model column. And um, I guess void set model column. And column. Okay. Um, and then we have to have some kind of pass through here and do combo box. So We'll just do um, int model column columns return and this to model column. Oops. Set model column column. Cool. Then what I figured was that we would do something like um, um, we would have a third column, call it like fancy or something like that, which would be like the smash together, um, nice smash together version of the board and the title in some pretty printed way. So, um, or is this really what I want to do? This is kind of stupid. It's not very good factoring. Uh, let's not do that. Let's instead say that for the display, I'm gonna try to display this one. We will. We will just. Okay. This is how we'll do it. Pend. Um, that's the easiest way. <laughs> ah, why is this so difficult? Return board get board. Return string format. That and then the name of the board, and then we will do it this way dot characters title. Jesus, does this have to be so difficult? This will be just fine, and we don't have to have the title here, we don't need the title. This is Single purpose, doesn't have to be general. I don't know why I was thinking I have to build a general model for the whole data thing. Sometimes I get like that, like I see I see some data and I just want to like make all of it available even though I'm not going to use all of it. That's a bit stupid. Okay. See, now this is starting to look a bit more interesting. And uh, here we can see a problem with the list box implementation that the list box does not follow the window. <laughs> but uh, that's an entirely different problem. And also we have no way of scrolling the list box because the list box is huge. Um, that's probably not great. So let's see if we can do something about that g -compo box. Where do we make a window for it? Right, so G combo box open. Um, calls list window show. Um, that's the window that pops up. And then this is the rect for that window. So size is the size of the window. And I'm thinking that we should limit the height of this thing. 
So it certainly should not extend past the bottom of the screen because that would be silly. Um, so let's see. Let's start with this. Um, this window wrecked, and then um, wrecked, this window wrecked. Uh, can we do like a um, desktop? Like GUI, G desktop. desktop right perfect um, so we want to do like uh, list window rect dot intersect with desktop rect and maybe we even shrink shrunken by 3232 just in case give a little padding so because it will look a bit stupid if it's like right up to the edge of the screen. So we'll, we'll have a little padding. I don't know if this should probably be done in some different way, but um, I think this might be a, a nice enough way to do it. Uh, let's see. See, that's more like it. Probably we should have shrunken it a bit more. Let's do um, let's do 128 by 128. Mm, or actually, let's only do it on the height axis. So let's not shrink the width. Oops. Got a comment from someone asking uh, if I was gonna make something more useful than the 4chan viewer, like an RSS reader. Uh, come on, what's not useful about this? <laughs> um, to each their own, I suppose. But uh, this is something I, I would probably use if it if I can make it good enough. So it is useful to me. Um, of course, I don't visit all of these boards, but. Some of them are quite interesting sometimes, and especially funny, which is why I go there. Um, okay, so this is cool. Now, what happens when you select one? Then the text just pops up up there. Um, and I guess what we want to do is when you select one, then we would also like jump to that board. So let's see, we have some commits here, so. What did we do even? Uh, combo box stuff here. This is just about um, straining the height of the um, list that we opened to the desktop rect. So I think we should do that in a separate commit. Uh, G combo box. Oops. And commit. G combo box. Constrain. Let's pop the window um, to the desktop right. Um, this looks much better than allowing it to extend past the bottom of the oops, screen. Cool. Um, and then kind of did these, which I don't actually end up using, but I still think that they're useful, so I'm just gonna have them. GUI, G combo box H, and G list view H. Look GUI. Allow, uh, specifying the model column for G list view and G combo box. These widgets, these widgets can only display a single 
come from the underlying model. Data model. Uh, and it was previously hard coded um, to use column zero. Now you can use any column you like. Fantastic. Okay. And then now we're just in the chain reader stuff. Okay. So um, let's see. I can lose this. Um, what does G combo box say when you select something? Does he have a callback? We have on change. I think that one is good. Um, so let's use that one. Uh, change. Wait, who calls it though? When you edit the thing. So like, really, I don't want this to be an editable dropdown, but I don't really have a non-editable combo box right now. Um, suppose we could make one. Or we could we could sort of make this one be read only if we so uh, the way the combo box works currently is that it's like a composite widget that uh, combines a uh, text editor, a uh, button for the open thingy, and um, a list view that shows up in a separate window. So we could take this editor here and uh, have a way to make it read only. I think we'll do that. So we'll say wait set read only. Or um, no, it's so editable. Editable. Um, wait, what does this mean? Only allow values from model. I mean, that's kind of what I want, but what does that do? Oh, look at that. This is exactly what I want. Thank you, past me. It's very nice of you. Okay, so we'll use that. Um, in the chan your main okay so that would be board combo true okay great and then um, board combo on change oh actually we need to uh, put this down here because what we're going to do when it changes does it tell us anything? It tells us the new string. Okay. That's a little bit weird. I would like it if we could get the um, if we could get the index of what was selected in the model. Um that's a bit complicated. Uh, shit. Uh, or maybe it doesn't have to be complicated. G model index. So we can just uh, put it here. <laughs> and it doesn't have to be complicated at all. Okay. And then where do we call this? Um, and then we'll just say M model. Do we have model? Um, selected index. Ah. Um, then we can do the same here. Okay. Oh, actually, we have the index here, so we don't need to do that. Um, okay, now we're getting somewhere. Uh, okay, so then we'll have the index. <laughs> and actually, maybe I guess somebody else was using this, so I'm just have to update him. So to say auto, auto here. Yeah. And for this guy, we ignore the string, but const g model index index. Um, 
And then we want to extract. Oh, God damn it, now I wanted that data. <laughs> um, but oh, yeah, but we'll do it differently. So say um, when you're asking for the data, but if role is custom, then we can just do a custom version for this. So uh, in this case, we will give you the board just like that. String. All right. This will allow us to do something like um, selected board is board combo model data at index j model role. Custom. I think that's how you would do that. Assert select board is string. And then um, we'll say catalog view model. This one we have to cast. So, But we know it's a thread catalog model. So we're just going to cast it and we'll say set board. Select a board to string. Okay, and then we'll give this guy a set board function. Void set board const string. Um, string and board name. Present board. Maybe we'll start out with G. Uh huh. And then. Um, Red color model set board and board is board. If m board is board, then just return. Otherwise, set that and update. And then finally, for the big, for the big trick. Now we're going to actually include this here. Four characters. Okay, will this work? Let's find out. Maybe we should have uh, should have printed something here. I'm feeling overly confident, not adding any print statements or anything. Okay, so then we'll go to the. Um, I don't know, fashion. Not that I've ever really been there. Okay, so I think that we loaded a different board. How cool is that? Okay, so let's try another one. Animals, nature. And we died. Shit, out of kernel memory. Well, that's not good. <laughs> <laughs> but this is probably um, probably not something I'm going to fix right now. So let me just try that while I'm paying attention. So what would be a good way to... By the way, it's black here. It doesn't look right. I don't like that. Let's fix that. Um, I guess that's this widget. I'll say uh, widget set shirt. Fairly background color true, is that it? I thought that when we... I don't know why it's not filling with the background color automatically. Oh, I guess because you don't always want that. I was thinking that like there was a rule that the main widget of a window would always fill, but you might not want that if your um, main widget is like um, draws itself, for instance, then you don't want it to implicitly fill. But yeah, so see, now with Without the black here, it looks a lot nicer. Okay, and then we will open a different board. Uh, let's go back to fashion. And it just flips into that, yeah, when it's finished loading. So it would be cool to have sort of a status bar that says uh, loading dot 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 or something like that. 
Um, but let's see if we can commit here what we have already. So what the hell did I change in combo box? I already forgot. Oh, right, it was the notification stuff. The GUI. OK, so let's let's do that. Lib GUI and add DevTools Visual Builder. Include the selected index with the on change notification. Please hold our own clients. Need to fetch additional data the model selection change. Cool. Um, and then we just add these, and we will just a super commit. Wow. Add a. Um, Fetch the list of ports. Switching uh, board catalogs. Switching the board. Um, put the list of ports in a combo, G combo box, in a combo box. to switch boards that way. Cool. Okay. <clears throat> now let's add a status bar to this thing so that we can so that we can uh, so that we can have allergies. Uh. Um, so that we can show that it is loading. So this guy will just go on the bottom. Um, and then I guess, um, how the hell do we do this? We want the status bar to be visible way into like, this guy here when we set the board and then <clears throat> we want to update the status bar here and here so I guess we can say like um, do like the function on begin uh, fetch on update um, started or um, on, on, on uh, refresh started and refresh finished or no on, on load started <laughs> I'm having some trouble uh, choosing here but it's not the most important thing in the world what we call these so we'll just say if on load started on load started and likewise here, let's say if load finished, uh, we'll do that. That's cool. And maybe um, we'll have a success thing here. So let's say I mean it's gonna be false here and true here. So I can just do that. And we'll include that here. So that would be nice. And then in main, we can do some, some sneaky stuff like um, we're going to have to cast this. So maybe something like that. On load started. Oh, God, that's hideous. Let's just um, catalog model. Yeah, this will be nicer. That okay. Um, 
Adams bar set text loading. Um, something like this. Color model blackboard. <clears throat> Characters. Um, and we also have bool success uh, load. Load finished. Load failed. Something like that. And then we will just need to have a companion for this guy. It's called like string board const turn and board. Okay. Okay, so what did I do? Not right. Hmm. All right, cool. Success. I'm about finished. Okay, this is not the most readable error, I have to admit. Main CPP 47. This candidate is not. Oh shit! Right, <laughs> that made sense. I didn't, I didn't set the right uh, callback. I quite like this this way of programming with these um, putting like a public function on an object like that and calling it like on something. Um, it makes for a really readable code, I think. Okay, so. Okay, why did we die? Let's try that one more time because I think that was just a Windows server killing us. Yeah. All right, so now it says down at load finished. Let's try uh, get, uh, I don't know, cooking, loading CK. And then we died because kernel ran out of memory. Uh, I probably need to investigate that, but um, it's outside the scope of, of this uh, video for sure. I just like to have a successful load here, so we'll just do um, do it yourself. And it loaded. That's cool. Load finished. Um, pretty pretty neat. Maybe we could even do something like um, set the window title when we finish loading. So. Say if success window set title string format chain viewer okay and probably this this is where we're gonna be. Happy for for the day. Um, it's nice to to like work on some GUI program. Maybe everyone doesn't agree that this is the most useful program, but but I don't care about that. Um, I am happy to have something to to iterate on and to work on that gives me a reason to use all of these different systems. So we'll load uh, comics and it says CO. That's pretty cool. Pretty, pretty cool. Okay, and, oh, and can I edit this? I can. Well, that isn't right. Why does that work? It was supposed to be read only. Set only allow values from model. If it's B. So is it already true? I'm Oh, oh, look at this. It doesn't actually save the value. Not very well tested, I have to admit. G. 
combo box. Actually, save the uh, make effect. Um, but before we push that one, let's just make sure that it actually takes effect. Because I was kind of confidently just committing there without testing. Come on, what is that Windows Server crap? You get killed because... An insertion failure in the window, windowing client code. Hmm. Suspicious. Well, it's not really related to what I was working on here, so we'll just ignore it. Come on, fashion. Oh, what went wrong that time? Uh, unable to resolve. Well, that's crappy. We should probably cache successful lookups. Um, I'll, I'll write a bug about that, but not, not right now. Uh, <laughs> damn it, I just want to see. I don't even know what I want to see anymore. I guess, I guess I'm happy with it, the way that it is. I like that it changes the window title. It is very cool. Um, fine. Oh, right, you're right, right. I wanted to check the, that this thing was not editable. Yeah, 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 right. Now it's not editable. We're not a kernel memory. As you can see, the system has its fair share of issues, but nothing that we can't fix. So what was this about? This was just, um, uh, status bar, right. Status bar and window title bar. January. Uh, add a status bar to uh, show when loading and show loading status. Also update the window title with the current board after loading. Pretty cool. So we got a nice chunk of commits here. Let me say push that. Boom. And um, I guess I guess this is gonna be it for today's video. So I will just say that if you made it this far, then I thank you for watching and uh, for hanging out while we continue to work on this slightly feisty operating system today, but. Um, but still, my little baby, uh, <laughs> thank you for hanging out, and I hope you saw something interesting, and I hope to see you next time. Bye.